We've learned how to create message boxes that display a prompt, a title, perhaps an icon, and a series of buttons. And we've used that mostly for output, but we could also use it for input. We can handle which of the buttons the user has clicked. And we can do that because the messagebox.show returns a value called a dialog result. The dialog res result is what we call an enumeration or an enum for short. It really is an integer variable, but has some string values associated with each of the possible uh, values that that enum can contain. In this case, the dialog result reflects the various buttons that are available to us in the messagebox.show command. We can dim a variable as a dialog result data type. In this case, I've got dr for dialog result. And dr equals, and we have the messagebox.show and what we want to display for our prompt title and the buttons. Now that messagebox.show shows the message box, pauses the execution until the user interacts with it by clicking one of the buttons or closing the message box. Then whatever button is selected returns that value into, in this case, our variable dr, our dialog result dr. And then we can use a conditional. So if dr equals dialog result dot yes, they click the yes button, then I want to do something. Now that dialog result dot is all of those different values that are available in the enumeration. So I could say if dr equals dialog result dot retry, or try again, or dialog result dot continue. Those are all valid values for comparing the dr. Now since those are variables, I could also say in this case if dr equals six then I want to do something in that six, as we can see over here in the little table for the enumeration, is the value of yes. So in VB, we can use either the variable or we can use the string enumeration value. We can code an exit button on our application. I have a button named BTN exit. I'm going to handle the click event. And I'm going to set up a prompt and a title. The prompt being, are you sure you want to exit? The title being, please confirm. And then my DR is dialog result. And here, dr equals message box that show. We're going to show the prompt, the title, the yes, no, cancel buttons, the question button, and we'll make the third one, the cancel, the default. I want the user to choose yes that they actually want to exit. That's why I made the third one the default. If dr is the, is equal to dialog result dot yes, then I'm going to I'm going to end the application by saying me dot close. That's our command to close the window. This is our only window. It will end the application. There's also still the close button up in the upper right hand corner on our window frame. And we can turn that off by setting the control box of our form to false. However, when we do that, we're going to lose the minimize and the maximize buttons as well to its left. But this would allow us to force the user to click the exit app to exit the application rather than maybe accidentally clicking that close button in the upper right. But as I said, unfortunately, we lose the minimize and maximize buttons. So that may not be a great option. Here, I think, is a better way to verify that the user wants to exit the application. That is to handle the forms form closing event. So in the events panel for the form, for form closing, I entered confirm close as my method and then coded that basically the same way we did before. I have a prompt and a title. Instead of dr, I use confirm in this case for my variable name as dialog result. So confirm equals message box dot show. I'm going to show the prompt, the title, yes, no, cancel, a question mark icon, and make, again, the cancel button, button three, the default value. And then if confirm does not equal dialog result dot yes. So if they click either the no or the cancel, then I'm going to say e dot cancel equals true. E is this form closing event args. And by setting the cancel to true, we basically shut down this closing of the form. That way, if the user accidentally clicks that red X in the upper right hand corner, the close button, we can verify they want to close the application and not have it automatically shut down on them. Now we can do this with a ternary. So I can say e.cancel equals if and then my boolean confirm does not equal dialog result dot yes. I'm going to set the e dot cancel to true. Otherwise, I'll set it to false. If it's set to false, they did click the yes button. Then the form will continue closing and our application will end. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the programming practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, 
you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.